So in this video, I'm going to actually show you how to take the data that you've generated in your lab and convert it into a graph. This is basic Excel stuff, but it's stuff that I feel uh, people should be aware of. So if you already kind of have a grasp on Excel, you might not need to watch this tutorial. But if you're looking to brush up on it or if um, it seems kind of foreign to you, then this might be helpful. So what I've done is in a spreadsheet, I've just given us two columns one labeled temperature, and I put in parentheses degree C, and then one that measures the amount of glucose that was produced in each of those tubes. So remember, we're looking for lactase activity, and lactase activity is denoted by the amount of glucose that is produced in the reaction. Um, so we have a varying numbers of glucose amounts that were produced, and of course the accompanying temperatures. So what we're going to do is I'm going to just basically highlight this data and I'm going to come up here, and this is Excel 2011 for the Mac. I'm going to click on the Charts tab. If you have Excel 2008 um, on Mac, then there should be a Charts tab as well. If you have it in Windows, um, I actually am going to have a separate video that will show you how to do um, the same thing in, in Excel 2010 um, in Windows, and it should be fairly similar for Excel 2007. Okay, I'm going to select Scatter, and I'm actually going to do Smooth Marked Scatter. Okay, so this gives us a general kind of line that shows us, to a degree, where our points fall. Um, but this isn't really the kind of graph you'd want to turn in for your final project. Um, you're going to want to make sure that you clean this up a little bit. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. So I'm just going to enlarge the graph. The first thing I'm actually going to do before we even go to formatting things I'm going to format grid lines and I'm going to actually remove those grid lines. So, uh, line, no line. Okay, there we go. Um, and then the next thing I want to do actually is I want to edit this axis. So I'm going to format axis and I'm going to go to number, or actually, I'm sorry, scale. And I want to change the scale from 120 to 100. I want this to go from 0 to 100 on that. Um, and then for the vertical axis, I'm actually going to change that as well. So again, format axis. And I'm going to change the maximum value to 1100. Okay. So this has just made it to where the graph is taking up the majority of space. I'm also going to remove the series title because that gives us more room for the graph itself. Okay. So now we've got this nice graph. Um, and I guess one last thing I'm going to do is I don't want the vertical axis to go into the negative. So I'm going to again format axis. And the minimum value here I'm going to change from negative 100 to 0. Click OK. All right. So I now have this nice graph. But remember, the problem with this as it is is that I don't actually have um, any kind of title. And I don't have any legends for my axes. So in Microsoft Excel 2007, what you can actually do um, is you can go to uh, chart layout, and here you've got axis titles. So horizontal axis title, title below the axis is what I select, and I'm just going to double click so I can actually type in here. And remember, this is temperature, so I'm going to put temperature C. Okay, there we go. And if I want to enlarge that, I'll just double click. That should bring up. Um, my options here, and for font size, I'm going to increase this to 14. So I click OK. So that's the temperature. And then over on this side, I want to add in the axis title, vertical axis. Um, we're going to do a rotated title. Okay, and I'm going to double click here. I'm just going to put in glucose milligrams per deciliter, close parentheses, okay. and we're going to close that up. And then I'm going to double click this as well, and I'm going to again increase the font size to 14. Okay. Last but not least, if I want to actually add in a chart title, I just click title above chart. This is effect of temperature on lactase activity. Okay, so there's our chart. 
I have left the data points in. If you want to remove them, then you can simply right click and you can format data series. And you can actually choose marker style and marker line. Just set both of those to none or white. Um, so no marker here and then marker line. Just go to no line and that would actually erase the markers. Uh, but I want to leave those in. Okay, so this is my graph and it's ready to go into um, into my paper. So what I'm going to do is with the chart area selected, I'm going to right click and you can simply save this as a picture on your desktop. Okay, So if you go down to desktop and then you basically can title it whatever you want. I'm going to save it in a JPEG format so this is going to be um, lactase temperature graph and just click save and now I have that saved to my desktop. Um, and basically the principle remains the same for the other graphs that you might make in terms of your um, pH. Uh, as far as your EDTA and your specificity experiments go, you might choose to use a different chart. The best part about this is you can just click in the charts area and you can choose if you want to use a column or a bar. Um, I don't really think you'll need to use a pie. Um, you can use a line. And any of these charts, pretty much the manipulation of them is the exact same as what I showed you in this video.